What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Brita Stream 25 cup dispenser in Slate I picked up at Target for $44.99. Out of 5 stars this dispenser gets 4.5 out of 5 out of 65 customer reviews. In addition to the dispenser today, we're also going to be taking a look at the Brita Stream BPA Free Pitcher Replacement Water Filter 3 Pack. I also picked up at Target. You can find these at the store for $15.99. They get 4.5 out of 5 stars out of 217 customer reviews. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. As you can see, we are in an entirely new setting here. I did finally move into my own apartment. That being said, due to a limited budget, uh, my apartment did not come with a fridge that has an attached water dispenser. So for me, it was either buy a case of water every week or jugs of water or get a Brita pitcher. I was looking at the Brita pitchers, but I do like to drink continuously, uh, like three or four glasses at a time when I come home from work, considering I do like to drink a lot of water. Basically, I would have to pretty much refill it every night so that when I would wake up in the morning or come home from work, I would have to pretty much refill it. I also didn't want to run the risk of forgetting to refill it and then coming home and not having a cold glass of water. So I decided to go with the water dispenser. Uh, as you can pretty much tell, it's actually a pretty nice thin form factor. It's pretty narrow. So uh, due to the fact that my fridge already isn't all that big, this should actually fit in there fairly easily and pretty simply. Uh, also, as you can see here, I did opt for the three pack filter replacement. I figured why not get everything at once and just not have to worry for another six or seven months about having to replace everything. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and I'll show you everything that comes with the Brita Pitcher. I will show you how to replace the filters and there might even be some kind of water meter in here that I would like to check out and you can see for yourself just how to test the water with something like this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So Brita has been around for quite some time now. There are multiple other dispensers on the market who have basically copied the Brita pretty much idea, I guess you could say. But what I was most worried about was the fact that I kind of wanted to be able to find the replacement filters easily. Uh, with the other brands, I was kind of concerned that I would have to go to a certain store or maybe visit a specific website, for example. Uh, with the Brita picture here, I'm pretty confident that I could find the replacement filters at Walmart, at Target, uh, online at Amazon even, and have them delivered right to my front door uh, should I ever need a replacement filter. I didn't want to have to rely on a specific store to do so. Uh, I definitely would not drop this plastic on the floor. It might just break. It's not a very sturdy plastic. Uh, as you'll probably notice here, you do get, I think, a filter in the box. Uh, here is what it looks like. My assumption is the replacement filters look pretty much exactly the same. Uh, just to be clear, I kind of want to see what the replacement filters look like. So as you can see, they actually look very similar in packaging to the filter that came with the pitcher or the stream itself. So I'm not going to unbox this right now, but I can pretty much guarantee that they are going to be exactly the same. Uh, what's actually really nice about the British stream is that it actually has a nozzle on the front of it so you can actually uh, pour water with it which is really fantastic you don't even have to remove it from the fridge of course unless you are refilling it with water we'll go ahead and demonstrate that later on but you do pretty much get an accurate user guide as to how it works uh, it looks like it even has some kind of a locking mechanism there so maybe that should help stop it from leaking yes there is a button on the top of the spigot that you will have to use to unlock the filter but there's also an additional trigger underneath the spigot that you'll have to press down alongside the button at the same time and then twist counterclockwise to pull the filter out. Uh, removing the filter to replace it is pretty easy. Uh, it's almost like a little basket here that you just twist and it locks into place or unlocks. Sort of swap filters out on the fly, which is really nice. Uh, what you're pretty much going to want to do is uh, just slide the filter in with the blue side facing out. Uh, it does ask you, it does give you directions, so to speak, 
to uh, push it down until it clicks into place. And what's actually really nice is on the opposite side of the filter, there is a little message here saying push to eject. So you pretty much just push this out and it comes right out. And it will unclick and click back in to let you know that you've pretty much done it correctly. And there you go, just like that. This is all ready to go. You actually want to position it counterclockwise just as you remove it and then twist it in clockwise to get it to lock into place. It does give user feedback in the form of clicks and it does make installing and uninstalling things really easy and fast with not only just the design of the machine but directions on every little thing and every little item. I am really digging this Brita stream so far. So as you can see here, what's actually really nice is that this door opens up on top. So I can pretty much put this down in the sink and then put as much water as I need to. And it's pretty much give you an idea of how easy it is to dispense water. All you do is pull back on this tab here, let it fill up, and just put it back in place when you're ready to go. And what's really nice is this green indicator light lets you know just how clean the filter is. As you can see when we were dispensing water, it was actually green. That's because we had a brand new filter in there. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the Brita Stream 25 cup dispenser. I picked up at Target for $44.99. Out of five stars, the dispenser gets four and a half out of five out of 65 customer reviews. Because I picked it up at Target, that does make it a big box good. I really hope you enjoy that unboxing and first impressions. As you pretty much saw, the Brita Stream was extremely easy to set up and install. Uh, the one drawback I will say about this breaded dispenser is the fact that I do have to change the filters about every three months or so. Uh, when you're getting one of these for the first time, I would just go ahead and buy the replacement filters because you will have to go out in about three months and get another replacement filter. Uh, you will save money on buying bottles of water or gallons of water and you'll save money in the short term by not having to buy a fridge that dispenses clean water. Uh, for example, if you're renting like me, uh, you wouldn't want to make that type of investment into a rental unit anyway. I think uh, for $44.99, you're going to save a lot of money if you're in a position like me. My name is John. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.